We are joined here by writer, director, comedian, and actor, Brother Omar Reagan. Welcome, Brother Omar Reagan. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. We're good. How are you? I'm doing really good, alhamdulillah. Good. Yeah. Let's start with you from the beginning. Okay. Um, from Hollywood to having your own production company called Halaliwood Entertainment, what was the pivotal change in your life for you to create your own entertainment company? Well, um, I had several changes, but I'm really happy um, on my build-up and working in Hollywood. I was tired of being offered roles that didn't compliment me um, and roles that I didn't want to do. Um, so, alhamdulillah, I'm happy that Allah blessed me. I went for Hajj in 2007, and then um, I also went again in 2008. And alhamdulillah, I was like focused on what I could do that, you know, that I could still do me, and then also I could benefit mankind or I can still live as a good Muslim. So alhamdulillah, I'm really happy. I started touring doing um, comedy uh, only with Muslims. And I got, I mean, I was happy and excited because people didn't know Muslims laugh. They just didn't know that Muslims laugh. And I went to Malaysia, I've been to the Philippines, I was in China, and it's amazing, man. And I really wanted to do something. And then I thought, hey, why don't we have our own movies? Let's make our own movies. So I'm really grateful. I'm really happy that Allah blessed me with this beautiful idea to make movies. And then the Halaliwood, the Halaliwood came with, uh, I went to an event, and then they had named it Halaliwood. And I was like, really? With some young students. And they was like, that's my story. I'm leaving Hollywood. I'm going Halaliwood. And so then I was like, hey, can I have that? They was like, yeah, take it. And I'm grateful. I, I took it as my own. And boom, I just I launched it, all of the paperwork, and it gave me the motivation and the drive that I needed to be able to start producing movies. And American Sharia is the first film uh, that I've written and directed and produced. And so I'm, really, I'm happy. That's, it all led me, but I had some, some real serious challenges inside of my life. And then also watching films, how Muslims are always portrayed as terrorists. And, and I'm like, why, what, is, what is the deal with that? Like, it's a billion, two billion Muslims around the world, and we don't know anything about terrorism. So how they associate that with terrorism? And they put it in every TV show. They put it in every film. And it's a problem. So I wanted to make a change. And I'm really happy about it. Mashallah, mashallah, Mubarak to you. So the movie American Sharia, you have sold out venues in 21 different cities across the UK with 24 different screenings. This is quite an achievement. How does that make you feel? Um, to be 100% honest with you, it's extremely humbling because this organization, which or, honestly, usually organizations don't take a chance on someone, especially as an artist. But this organization, Penny Appeal, man, this Penny Appeal is amazing. I'm really grateful for them. I love them as family. They took a chance on me. They said, hey, look, you're focused on changing minds, and we're focused on changing lives. Let's work together. Let's build something together. So for my first film, right, and then the first tour of 20-city tour, 21-city tour, what over like 24 screenings, to be sold out all around the UK is really amazing. And at the same time, we're raising funds to build an orphanages, well, orphanages in different parts of the world, like Gambia and Pakistan. And it's amazing to sponsor orphans at the same time. So doing something to, be, to give back at the same time is promoting myself and building a halal production company to represent Muslims where we can actually relate to ourselves in film and media. It's just, I mean, I don't even, finding the words to be able to say it's extremely humbling. Mashallah, mashallah. Why did you choose the name American Sharia? I, choose, I chose the name American Sharia because in America, they, um, they're attempting to ban Sharia in different states in America. And there's no Sharia in America. So how do you ban something that's not even there? Um, and I was like, I think that that's ironic. And it's just really, it doesn't make any sense to me. So I wanted to re-educate people about what Sharia really truly is. And also, my father, uh, may Allah have mercy on him, in 2009, he was killed um, by the government 
20 times he was shot, and they said the claim was he wanted to establish Sharia in America. Well, that, I mean, none of it was true, and then later they came back and apologized, but my father is gone, and I mean, still, I mean, what is the claim? So I was like, what are they scared about Sharia for? So I wanted to re-educate people because I think that somebody have taught them that Sharia is something that it's not. Sharia means a street. Sharia means it's a water, it's a, it's a road leading to water. So I just wanted to re-educate Muslims and people worldwide. Whoever taught them what Sharia is something to be afraid of, I wanted to re-educate them. So essentially, would you agree that your father inspired you for this movie? Oh, my father is a big inspiration for the movie, and I'm really happy that with visual effects that he's in the film. So I'm really happy with that, um, that you can see my father actually starring in this movie, even though he's been away from the earth five for over five years. So I'm really humbled, and I'm excited about that, and it's actually one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Mashallah, mashallah. Now, you managed to get the A-list stars, Eric Roberts, the YouTube stars, the Nasheed artists, and comedians. How did you manage to bring them all together under one roof? Well, I'm really happy, man. Eric Roberts is a very, he's a top actor, man. Um, I was honored, like, I'm a big fan of him from way back in Best of the Best. Uh, and so... For him to even say yes to an independent filmmaker like myself, even with a story like myself, is extremely humbling. So I'm really happy and excited about that. Um, he, he, he really loved the story. He loved the mission of unity and love. He loved that there's a film out there to maybe stop all of this promotion of hate. Um, and like, hey, let's just come together. So even though he had to play the bad guy, I'm really happy. I'm really happy that he joined the cast to say, look, let's tell this story because major studios would never tell this story, and I'm with you. And that felt really good from a polished, seasoned, professional actor like Eric Roberts. So I thank you, Eric Roberts. I really appreciate you. And also, my YouTube stars, what I wanted to do was um, Adam Saleh and Sheikh Akbar, they have a very huge fan base, and they're there with the youth. I wanted to come together and say, hey, look, this is finally something for all of us. So I wanted to do like Hollywood. I wanted to bring in the Muslim stars. These are Muslims who have a strong fan base. Yaz the Spaz, Adam Saleh, Sheikh Akbar, Preacher Moss, the Qadir Latif, the Joshua Salams. There's, these guys are Nasheed artists, they're comedians, they're YouTube stars. They're amazing individuals in their own light. And for us to all come together as one would make a beautiful production. You know, the word peace springs to mind with all the people you have chosen for the movie. Would you agree with what they, that's what they all have in common? Well, I mean, I'm really happy that all of these guys are peace. Even Joshua Salam, his last name is, means peace. And they all, have a, they all want to give. They all want to educate. They all want to reintroduce Islam and Muslims to the world because we're all... We're all, I don't know, we're all tired of being stuck inside of some box or placed inside of a box by the media. We're tired of that. Like, so we, we all spread Islam and spread uh, is, uh, Muslims for who we really truly are. We all do it. So to do it in one platform all together is amazing. And I'm really happy that we was able to pull it off. Mashallah, and I'm, I agree, you did a great job of that. You not only made people laugh in this movie, but you showed a different side to your acting abilities, where you were very serious about your cause and showed emotions through your tears. How did you manage to strike the balance? Well, I mean, because honestly, there's a balance in every human being. Everybody don't play all the time and everybody don't pray all the time. So there's a balance. So sometimes you feel great and sometimes you feel sad. So you just have to, I mean, it's like I want to make a movie that is real, that, you know, these characters are real. They're human. You can relate to these characters. So it's if you just be yourself and, you know, I mean, show who you really truly are and sometimes I cry I love to laugh that's my personality I love to have fun some things do make me cry and so then some things make people cry in general so I want to show that and that message that's in that scene is very strong because uh, the, the, his character inside of the film is having an identity crisis and he doesn't know which way to go and a lot of Muslims they really they have this issue where they want to be Muslim, but they want to fit in. And how do I, it's confusing sometimes, and you're stuck in some kind of, 
middle passage, if you will, and he's like, man, I like going to the masjid, but I also have my friends. I want to pray. And what do I do? And as this character who I portrayed, his name is Muhammad, but he wanted to fit in. So he said, hey, call me Mo, you know, just to make it easy, because sometimes as Muslims, you don't want to have that conversation because people are automatically going to associate you with terrorism. So you hide. And I want to and this, the reason why we wrote that character is because we want Muslims to be who you are. Be confident in who Allah blessed you to be. If your name is Muhammad, then be Muhammad. Because that's, what's on, that's the thing, that, that's who you are. And that's what's going to take you to where you really need to be in life. So that was the, the main message in that. When he was giving me the advice inside of the film, it touched. But then he also mentioned my father. And then now you can remember who you really truly are. So um, that's one of the reasons why we wanted to put that scene in the film, to be able to touch people and relate to a lot of issues that the youth are having today. MashaAllah, beautifully said. On a personal note, how do you think Hajj helped you getting American Sharia off the ground and onto the big screen? Hajj, well, I mean, honestly, on a personal note, Hajj helped me as an individual. Like, I'm Hajj, man. <laughs> just going there you get in touch with yourself you get to know who you really truly are because you're stripped of everything and then now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like waking you up it's almost a reintroduction of yourself so I'm really happy to go there back to back 2007 2008 and of course I prayed I prayed for myself I, I prayed like I want to be good and I wanted to be confident and trust in this prayer that I have like Everybody would tell me, that's haram, you can't do this. You can't make movies that Muslims are, like, criticizing Muslims left and right. Um, to be honest with you, I think the real reason why people of other faith can call Muslims terrorists is because Muslims terrorize each other. And at some point, that you have to really ask your Lord, oh, Allah, is this good and beneficial for me? Because I've gotten so many, I've, I've, I don't understand why I made a movie to promote Islam and then Muslims, call, they bash me they judge me bash me tell me i'm mocking islam muslims make death threats on me on social media like it's ridiculous and then you wonder why there's other people pointing fingers at us so i think it's important for everybody else out there that you make sure that you ask your lord as I'm, i was there at the cop i was like allah i want you to guide me i need strength i need you know i mean if i'm doing anything wrong keep my intentions pure guide me to do something where i can benefit mankind where i can be a benefit to the world and that's where i believe the hajj was a a, a major issue i'm grateful like it was, it was major for me because even in april like out of the blue i was invited back to the kaaba like before I went into production, like out of the blue, it was a mercy from Allah. And I went and made Umrah. I was at the Kaaba, I made Turaka and Masjid Kuba. It was the most beautiful experience that I had made three Hajj in my life. But then in April, I went for Umrah. And in June, I was filming my movie. So I do know that making sure that you focus on Allah first, making the sacrifice to go for Allah and to ask for guidance, to ask for strength, to ask for help, to ask for knowledge, you know, and be good, you know, and just keep fighting the vices that we have. It's major, man. You, you have to do it. And my daddy said, he told me, if, even if you can't make a hajj, then you can get up in the middle of the night and make the hajj. So that's one of the advices that I would love to give to people um, just like what my father told me, get up in the middle of the night, sacrifice your sleep and ask Allah for anything that you want to do and ask him for the help and then you'll get it. You've talked about your father. What about your mother? Uh, my mother, I'm so happy. Uh, my mother is on tour with me. My mother, she became Muslim when I was five years old, like 1980. And it was because of her that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed her. And I'm just so happy to have such a beautiful young lady that everybody think is my sister on this tour with me the full 30 days. She's a trooper. She just, she's there, alhamdulillah. She's holding down the Halaliwood store and pushing and promoting us. It's a beautiful thing for me to be able to travel and do 20 cents on my first film. So I'm really happy like that she's here every step of the way. Um, she's losing sleep and making sacrifices. It's just like everybody else, and it's just an amazing thing to be able to share that with my mother. 
She went hard with you too. My mother went for Hajj with me. I'm so grateful, and I can honestly say I went to Hajj with her in 2011. So I'm grateful. My, me and my mother, we've done quite a bit. We, you know, what I mean, and I'm hoping, Alhamdulillah, we're gonna do a lot more. So. What about the lady in your life, your wife? Alhamdulillah, my family is amazing. I'm so grateful to have the fam, my my support of my family. It is a big deal. Um, if you don't have you, if you don't have your family with you, I man, you lose. So, so I want to make sure that I'm telling everybody out there, family is so important. You have to. It's the reason why marriage is half of your faith. It's a reason for that. It's a reason why Allah bless you with children. There's a reason for that. So family, guys, family is amazing. Make sure that you really hold tight to your family because that keeps you strong and it keeps you grounded. May I say mashallah to that? Alhamdulillah. Throughout this movie, your humor aims to build bridges across religious, racial, and social divides. That is no easy task to do. How did you do it? Well, I'm alhamdulillah, I'm happy. I think that we just tell the truth. Um, in the Quran, it tells us to speak a word direct and to the point. So if we tackle these issues straightforward, because Islam is amazing. Islam covers all, it gives a solution for every problem that's out there. So I want to just focus on Islam rather than focusing on the opinions that people have. There's, today there's a big difference between Islam and Muslims. But I think if Muslims go back and they really study Islam and follow Islam, Islam is warm, Islam is peace, Islam is amazing, Islam is comforting, Islam is love one of the reasons why the prophet sallallahu was sent and was the last messenger and allah nicknamed him the beloved of allah was because he came with love and love is the key the prophet loved his enemies he loved his friends he loved his enemies he loved people who hated him people who hurt him he still loved them so if we can push that that love Regardless of how people treat us, regardless of what they say, we still have to love them. And that is Islam, and that's what we want to promote. And I believe that as that is our focus and our mission, because we study the Prophet Sallallahu then we'll be able to make a change and make the world a better place with our production company and our films and our message. Just in your personal life... Um, you've done marriage workshops. Can you tell us a bit more about that? I have done some marriage workshops in my lifetime. Very interesting marriage workshops because um, what happens is a lot of times marriage workshops, people are afraid to get married today because everybody has scared them. Like marriage is like, oh no, because people are afraid to commit and they always think, oh no, if I marry this brother, if I marry this sister, I'm going to miss out on Mr. Right. So you have, or Mrs. Right. So you have to just really trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're not here to be here by yourself marriage is a union there's things that you will never learn unless you are married there's levels of growth that you will never be able to get to unless you are married so I want to remind everybody that this you're not you wasn't here to be put alone Allah said of like nature he created his mate so we're supposed to go in two so guys man please from get focus you know what I mean? And then let's say, hey, Bismillah, ask Allah, put your trust in Allah, and your mate is right there around the corner. Don't put your standards up so high. That was another thing that we talked about at marriage workshops. Every brother, every every brother wants to marry that Muslima Beyonce. <laughs> and every sister wants to marry that that Muslim Matthew McConaughey. That's what happens, right? And so then now, oh, oh my God, no, he's not it. No, she's not it. And unfortunately, you'll never find people like that because are you that person? What makes you the Mr. McConaughey or Miss Beyonce? And I think like that's really messed up for that to be the standards of people, but unfortunately, people are really shallow. Instead of looking at their character and looking at their personality and their behavior and how they are, they're steady looking at the way they look. So let's stop being so shallow, stop being more confident, and you are who you attract. So. When you are who you attract, if you keep attracting the wrong person and something is wrong with you, you can go fix it. That's what, you, that's what we gotta do. I can't attract the wrong thing. Go fix it. Go fix yourself and watch. I'm telling you, the laws of attraction is amazing. So you've written five more movies. And if there was someone listening out there right now to you who is or would be able to help you in your goal, your vision and values, 
What would you like to say to them? I would like to say thank you for your support and please make sure you go to halaliwood.com and hit go into the site and hit the support button. It's very important because what you will be helping us do is change the world and I would love it if you guys would be a part of it. Together everything works, everything happens. So please or just hit us up halaliwood.com and contact us me and the team. We're always around or omarregan.com. Just hit us up and give us some time. I appreciate the support. I thank you all. I pray Pray that as a you know what I mean as uh, together I pray unified that we can actually make the world a better place. I really truly believe that we can, and it's not far fetched, guys. I mean, there's there was peace one time. Let's history repeats itself. Brother Omar, thank you so so much for all your love, your support, and being here and sharing your movie with everyone. Um, but one last thing, Elmo. Impression. Oh, Chris Tucker impression. <laughs> Take your pick. I did do the. Um, I did do, and my my life has been years ago though. I did um, the photo double for Chris Tucker and Rush Hour too. It was fun times. But can you imagine Chris Tucker as Muslim? He'd be like, "Salam alaikum. What you doing, man? Hey, man, we about to pray. We going to the masjid. I'm gonna do a movie called Juma. I'm gonna talk about how we getting ready, man. It's a beautiful thing." And then, alhamdulillah, I always wanted to do Dawah on Sesame Street. I actually believe that the first person may take Shahada would be Elmo. Can you imagine that? Elmo took Shahada. He'd be like, Ah, oh, oh, Allah is so kind. <laughs> Allah is so merciful to Elmo. <laughs> oh, alhamdulillah. <laughs> I am Muslim. <laughs> okay, so I'll